and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to make a small drill press, a portable drill press uh, utilizing uh, a $49, pretty reasonable actually, um, corded drill. You could probably do it with a cordless as well, but uh, I prefer a uh, corded um, and there's some th a certain criteria that's required to actually make one of these units. Okay. Uh, um, I purchased this from my local store, uh, that in this case in Australia is called Bunnings. Um, now what you need to look for to do this type of conversion, um, standard type of drill chuck uh, with preferably key operated. Um, it doesn't really matter about the hammer action but if you purchase a hammer action uh, corded drill um, they're normally built a little bit more robust. Um, variable speed that's, that's a, a, a must minimum 13 millimeter this is half an inch half an inch of ability to, to have a, uh, a a drill in the chuck and one of them another thing 710 watts 650 to 850 somewhere in that range uh, this is right in the middle which is absolutely perfect for us um, and most important one of the things that that is missing these days is all metal gears okay all metal gears in other words the drive from the electric motor inside and the gearbox uh, out to the output shaft right through the gearbox and out to the output shaft is all metal and that's what you normally find with a hammer drill and you can you need to make sure that you can select the hammer drill off. Normally you can. Um, another criteria would be that you can lock lock the operating switch on. Okay, because it's going to be mounted like this and you're going to be wanting to use it and you, you haven't got a third hand to hold the the, 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 the start at button or the button on. So it, it needs to be uh, able to lock it on. Um, and another criteria which is uh, you will absolutely need is this boss here. That boss which is normally for a handle. normally for this handle to go on like so somehow okay so it's for the handle we're not going to be using the handle but we are going to be using that boss okay to hold or support this drill all right so I'm going to show in, in, in its carriage so I'm going to show you how to do all that and uh, indeed make the whole thing now another criteria then if when you purchase your draw runners that's what these are it needs to be the ball bearing race type okay that runs in a track it's no good having the wheel here wheel here on some of the cheaper versions it must be heavy duty ball race track okay uh, these are I think I think I got a pair of these for seven dollars so it's you know it's very very reasonably priced we're not talking expensive uh, items here and in this case I've got four of these. Okay so I've got a piece of um, nice 19 mil or three quarter ply uh, this is um, furniture grade actually um, but ordinary grade ply is, is absolutely fine. Uh, and it's a piece about, um, let me see, 
Oh, it's about 11 inches actually, which is um, 280 millimeter by 760, which is two foot six. Uh, I'm giving two dimensions here, as in um, metric and imperial, because over the world, different countries use different systems. So if I tell you in inches, imperial, and in metric, then hopefully there's no mistake. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half and then laminate it and screw it uh, together to make one nice thick piece as a base. Um, and I've also got this piece, nice piece of um, planed oak. Uh, now this is going to be our column, okay, that everything's going to ride on. Now that is uh, 35 millimeter or one inch and three eighths and 90 millimeter, which is three and a half inches. Uh, and we'll find out how tall we're gonna have that in a minute. So what else I'd like to show you is just all these little tips. So you've got your line, okay, but so there's no mistake, all right, put a cross on the side of that line that you want to put the saw blade through. Otherwise, you can end up with a piece of material that's too short. So what you need to do now is glue and screw these together and you must make sure that they are square when you glue, them, glue and screw them together. And also the base now, I have two equal length parts of that and I'm going to glue and screw those together. I'm making the main clamping and support mechanism for the um, the boss of the drill and uh, I'm just drawing this freehand on here and uh, I do strengthen it up later 
and uh, I think it's all this whole process really is fairly self-explanatory so um, I'll just let you watch and uh, I'll come in every now and again if I think it uh, needs a little bit more explanation and uh, just listen to the nice music that uh, Google has uh, sent me recently they've uh, updated uh, music for me and uh, I hope you like it This system that I'm using here, um, what it actually is, is like that pin that I just picked up then, uh, that has a thread through it, uh, and it, I think it's eight millimeters, so you drill an eight and a half millimeter hole down through, which I've got the drill now, and I'm just marking the drill with a bit of tape, so I don't go through too deep. And um, you drill it in, and then you drop that little threaded uh, piece of rod in and you've got a like a hexagon on the top of it so you can actually um, turn it with a screwdriver to line up with the hole coming the other direction which I'm just going to mark out now and uh, that one is a five millimeter because it's a five millimeter threaded um, well, screw, I suppose, bolt, and uh, which lines up with it. So I'm just going to drop it in now, and then screw it in, and it's a very, very secure fit in, because that's going to take the whole that that clamps up the whole um, drill base actually, uh, and so it's going to take uh, a fair bit of pressure. And uh, I, I've found, you know, in the past that. Uh, that system is probably the best for this type of uh, job.
and of course this is the next crucial stage is actually getting the housing uh, screwed onto the um, the main carriage or carrier um, perfectly square with the base because uh, everything works off the, like the base and the column so it all has to be uh, all square with each other um, so I, I do it with a T-square uh, I do it a several times during the operation actually I've only put one screw in the center there because that gives me a chance to um, to move it you know sort of a, f a few degrees either way to uh, get it absolutely perfect but I do that when I've um, you know I, I do actually try the drill in there and line it up and uh, get it into a you know right bang in the center and then I um, put a second a third and many more screws in to uh, make it really secure uh, this piece I'm putting on the top actually it's, um, uh, it's you know sort of a is a bit of a um, a stage in then because uh, I needed to go a little higher and I needed something quite uh, quite substantial in, uh, to in order to um, put a spring on and put the mechanism um, for the the action you know to um, to plunge the drill down through and this is part of the mechanism now I'm putting together
Well, I hope you enjoyed the making of this drill press from, I think it was $49. Um, I do recommend getting a, a hammer drill that has um, metal gears and it should be written on the box actually whether it's uh, you know variable speed uh, up to 13 millimeter chuck and uh, metal gears inside and uh, well so you really can kit yourself out or, or you know adapt your own um, tools from um, cheaper tools uh, you know on a brand new drill uh, that has a 12 month warranty um, and you can adapt it to be something better so thank you for joining me for this video and uh, from time to time I plan to uh, make more of these types of videos maybe you could leave a message in the comment section to uh, well let me know what you might like to see converted or adapted um, and let me know what your thoughts are, what uh, you would be looking for. So please press like, subscribe, and go to my channel, if you can see it behind the trip. Um, on there, there's, uh, there's over 200 videos um, of different things like this. I actually even make a, a lathe as well, uh, and you'll find that on my, on my page. So there's 200 and Two, over 200 videos there now on that channel. I have two channels. So there's, there's a, up on the banner up here, you'll find an area to get to my second channel. On my combined channels, there is wood turning. I do a lot of wood turning. Um, lasers, um, CNC routers, CNC mill, and uh, furniture making. And I'm sure there's something there to please everybody. So thank you again for joining me and uh, please tune in again and it's bye for now.